And now we're ready to assemble this tubing pack onto the HT2000 device. There's two additional components within the kit that we're going to set aside. The first one is the recirculation line, and that will get assembled onto the device. The second piece is the IPH table pack, which will get handed up to the sterile field when they're ready to accept it. And now we'll place the tubing pack onto the HT2000 device. Discard the foam spacer. The first part out of the disposable pack is the heat exchanger. We will make sure that the tubing is not twisted. The heat exchanger will get hooked up to the water hoses. There are red marks and red caps, blue caps and blue marks, for where the water lines get hooked up to the heat exchanger. As before, the bezel is pulled back and pushed into place and we make sure the connections are secure. Once the water lines are hooked up to the heat exchanger, it is placed into the bracket and there is a groove on the front of the heat exchanger that matches the groove on the bracket and it simply snaps snugly into place. The next component is removing the yellow cap the gray heat exchange probe is inserted and the slight twisting motion to lock it in place. Now the heat exchanger is connected to the water bath. The pump tubing is pulled up and will be placed in the pump housing. The lid door to the pump is opened. Red matches the red and blue matches the blue. A spring clip is pulled backwards and the tubing is secured inside. The tubing is then threaded through the pump. There are guides on the pump head. There is a knob to use to twist the pump head and it will self-thread the tubing. And then at the end, remember to place the tubing through the other spring clamp. The door is shut. The tubing is now assembled on the pump. Reach back down into the disposable kit. Toss away the other spacer. And next, we can remove the reservoir. There is Velcro holding the reservoir in place. Make sure you unlatch the Velcro. It's heavy duty Velcro. And if you try to pull the reservoir out without unlatching the Velcro, you could crack the plastic housing. The Velcro is that strong. The reservoir is placed up and fitted into the bracket. The reservoir drain line which is the short leg with the blue cap, is clamped using the Roberts clamp built into the tubing. The IV lines are also clamped. And this line can be brought back next to the IV pole so it's out of the way as you finish the assembly. You will now take the white pressure sensor that was set aside from opening the pack. It will get opened up. And will be hooked into the device using this white end into the white pressure sensor location Please note up on the screen, once you've assembled this, you now have the functionality restored to these two heat exchange and pump power buttons. The pressure sensor will be attached to the tubing line right after it leaves the pump. 
you'll remove the red and white lower lock caps and the sensor will be attached to the tubing. Finally, we'll remove the sterile tubing loop from the kit. The sterile tubing loop can be placed up and behind the device or in the side pocket until it's needed on the sterile field. The final component that gets placed on the HT2000 optionally is the recirculation line. It contains a three-way stopcock and the line tubing. The stopcock will be placed on the reservoir and the recirculation line will be connected to the three-way stopcock and the other end of the recirculation line gets placed on top of the heat exchanger.